Right, so in this video we're going to start talking about density. Now this is a video by way of introduction of what density is, is about. You can visit mathswrap.co.uk and there are quite, there's quite a big explanation there and you can also download some worksheets and have a go at some of the problems that we're going to be addressing in the next uh, couple of videos. Or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and there is a playlist that relates directly to density. So density is all about the weight of something for a fixed amount of volume. So if we look at something like uh, SpongeBob here, um, you can see that SpongeBob, um, the material itself is quite squashy. In other words, there's less material or stuff within this construction in comparison to something like, say, some slate, which is quite dense and uh, quite hard, um, it's actually a little bit heavier, even though it's smaller than the sponges. So density is how we look at the weight of each of these products for a fixed amount of volume. Density is very useful because it deals with uh, construction. So, for instance, you wouldn't want to make um, a building from sponge, um, but you might use brick, which is a lot more dense and therefore a lot more strong. Um, or it might be uh, something like a pipe, where it's important to know the density of the liquid that's going to go through the pipe, so you know how big the pipe needs to be and also how much pressure is needed to push the liquid through. So the way that density is measured generally is either in uh, grams per cubic centimeter or something like kilograms per meters cubed. They seem to be the two most common measures of density, although they can vary. So if we look at, um, this is a, a a cubic centimetre of clay. Now you probably can't see that too well on the video but it is quite small and it's quite dense, in other words it's quite rigid. So if we compare that with a cubic centimetre of, uh, of sponge you can see the difference between the two even though they're both the same. They both weigh quite differently and also the uh, construction is quite different as well. So if I take my clay and um, weigh it, it actually weighs 0.6 grams, and in this case per cubic centimetre, so per cubic centimetre. And that gives us a clue now um, to set up a measurement or a formula that we can use for calculating density of products. So what we're saying is the density equals 0.6 grams per centimetre cubed. Okay, so I need to now just change that a little bit and that's going to allow me to create my formula. Now one of the things that you need to, um, to look at is wherever you see per in maths, it usually means division. Um, so I can rewrite that as 0.6 grams divided by, so per is divided by, centimetres cubed. So in other words, what we have here, if we look at the top bit, we've got just a measurement of weight. 0.6 grams is a measurement of weight. So there we go, that's weight. Alrighty. Um, and if we look at the bottom, centimetres cubed is a measurement of volume. So this is my volume measurement here. Okay, now what we could say then is density equals weight divided by volume. And there we are. Uh, and to a certain extent, yes that's true. Now the only thing however you need to be aware of is that weight can vary. So, for instance, if we are out in outer space or at the bottom of the ocean, uh, we're going to weigh differently because weight is a measure of how much um, we're pulled towards the centre of the Earth. It's actually derived from gravity. Um, so the way that uh, mathematicians and scientists would prefer 
is we actually use uh, this where we say mass divided by volume because mass is a measurement of weight and it never changes so this uh, we prefer to use mass so in order to calculate density we look at the relationship between the mass of the product and the volume of the product uh, generally speaking in uh, GCSE type questions you'll be given maybe one or two of these and you're able to work something out and they'll ask you to work out the density or the mass or the volume of the product in question. So I'm going to address those in a future video so if you get the opportunity please do have a look at matsrap.co.uk or subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, please do add a comment below if you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.